with our pieces sized down correctly and cut with our angles, we are ready to lay out for our holes. Taking a look at the schematic, we have a countersink hole that has a diameter of 3 eighths of an inch. This has a flat bottom. This countersink will accommodate the screw head. We also have a 1 8 inch diameter hole that is drilled through the entire piece. Now if we take a look at the isometric drawings, our larger countersunk hole is on the lower portion of the slant. The top portion of the slant, which was six and a half inches when we measured it on the miter saw, does not have this larger countersunk drill. It just has that diameter of one eighth inch hole. Taking a look at our measurements, if we lay out our countersink hole first on the lower end of our trapezoid, we can see that we are in three fourths of an inch from our slant or our cut line and we are centered. Three fourths inch in from the edge, three eighths inch in from the sides. And with a little tape on a Forstner bit, I can ensure that I will not drill too deep. After our countersunk holes have been drilled, we can utilize the small divot in the center from the spike on the Forstner bit to help with the drilling process using our 1 8 inch diameter drill bit. And that 8 inch bit will be drilled all the way through our part. And lastly, if any of those holes need a little cleaned up with sandpaper, we can hit that real lightly 